back to Good Morning Malibu. Phil and I are here with Pepperdine's very own Mark Allen. Um, he's an up-and-coming artist in the Los Angeles area. Um, he's known for his flashy avant-garde pieces, and this in particular is, is probably your most notable piece yet. So tell us a little bit about your Couture body bags. Well, I have a line of um, Couture custom-designed body bags that are custom to the fitter. So what I do is I take the customer, I make their outline, um, and then I make the body bag from the outline with other measurements such as height, waist, chest size to ensure a custom fit body bag that comes in uh, three options. There's opulent white ostrich, cryptic black crocodile, and a ravenous red calf. But they're all vinyl leathers. I didn't mm -hmm. want to harm any animals. And um, with real leather you have to worry about bodily fluid leakage because okay. corpses do leak fluids when um so they these die, so. are meant with death in mind right yeah. that's i'm i'm trying to say that in the most uh you know politically correct way that's the idea of of these artworks correct well the thing is everyone's going to die at one point right. you don't know when you don't know where and a lot of the times, this corpse is usually carried away in this cheap plastic blue sack. Yeah, you see it on CSI. You yeah, know, they just kinda, like everyone else. Yeah. And so I kind of wanted to be more reverent mm -hmm. to the body, mm -hmm. um, respect the human vessel mm -hmm. as it was, and have an option for those who also wish to share this, you know, sentiment. And so they carried around this, this body bag with them at all times. Okay. And then when they, you know, meet their ends, they have a bag to They're be prepared. carried in. They go out in style. They're ready to go, so, I suppose. Don't be caught dead without one. Oh, but I'm, I love that. That's good. So what made you think of this? I mean, I heard something about mm, a London yeah. experience. So. Yeah, in, when I was doing my studies in London, um, I noticed this really bizarre um, semantic difference where they would actually call purses um, or cross body bags. They would refer to them as just designer body bags. <laughs> and at first I thought that's what this was. I thought it was like a real thing. I was like, oh, that's a great idea. Too bad it's already, you know, existing. And then I, as I further researched and realized that it wasn't, I was like, this is a great opportunity to provide, you know, a unique fashion statement that's mm -hmm. not on the market right now. Um, that can also serve as kind of an artistic contemplation for the living as well. And so you've gotten a little bit of buzz for making public standings, like getting in a body bag in public yeah. and getting like arrested, yeah. right? Yeah, I've um, been doing a few public performances where I actually zip myself up in the bag and remain motionless <laughs> and okay. pretend to be dead in a way. Um, uh -huh. yep. I've done it many times, uh, been stopped by the cops a lot, but the most serious offense was at the Art Basel Miami Beach. Uh, it's this billion dollar art conference that happens every December and I zip myself up right in front of you know the two biggest galleries in the world, Gagosian and Marion Goodman, and I remained there for 18 minutes. And people came up and thought I was you know they either thought I was dead or they thought I was a silicone dummy. There's people actually poking oh, me, yeah. and they decided that I was actually fake. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're arguing over me. They're like, oh no, he's made of silicone. Yeah, and we're, you weren't moving. You were just yeah. lying there. We were no. watching the YouTube videos before the show, and mm. it, it's incredible. People were they were taking pictures. They and they just didn't understand, and then and then the cops came. That's yeah. pretty fantastic. <laughs> awesome, I love that. Well, I'm actually going to get in one of these bad boys. Absolutely, if you don't yeah, mind. Definitely. I would. I'm, I'm going to be zipped up, everyone. I'll help these, you. Are, these are custom made. So whose body? Well, with whose these, body bag is Jamie getting into with these right prototypes? Now? <laughs> with these prototypes, I've made a few different sizes. Um, okay. To okay. fit others. So. How often can you say you've been in a body bag? Only once, usually. Yeah, because generally when you're in one, you don't really get to talk about it much longer. <laughs> so this is, you know, it's are pretty gonna, comfy. Are we going to fully enclose her here? I or? don't hate this. <laughs> you know, it's like a glorified sleeping bag. Exactly. I, I really don't hate this. You could take it camping with you, you know. Could you order it lined in, like, down feathers or something? Yeah, there's also other the comfort, customizable options. The there's style. fur, you know, there's all different kinds of options. You can have your own name put on it as well. It's like ordering a car. You can 
Yeah. yeah. No. It's a nice interior. It's really <laughs> it's really roomy. And you can't plan your funeral and you can't plan your death, but at least you have some form of control over this end and you can at least know that you're going to go out in style. Of course, I love so. that. So if people want more information then about these body bags, do you have a website? Yes, uh, the website's markallenbodybags.com and you can follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, wow. Snapchat, Instagram. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're ready. All the usernames are MA Body Bags. Awesome. Okay, great. A lot of Instagram. Well, thank you, Mark Allen. It was so good to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. <laughs> Thanks for coming Thanks, on Bill. in. That's all for us on Good Morning Malibu, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. <laughs>